All right, so um, I fixed up my slide a little bit so that it would look a little bit more like a classroom or something I would send out to my students. In actuality, this is what I sent out to my students. Um, it had links on it, and I'm actually gonna show you how to put links on a slide like this. And um, I put, links in this area right here and I also put a link over here but I linked an image and I'm going to show you all of that in just a few seconds. I did want to share just one more tip before I moved on and that is I would recommend that you screenshot this image right here, not this image per se, but when you're at this stage of production in your um, virtual classroom, I would recommend that you screenshot this, um, which is Command Shift 4 on the Mac. Um, and then like you, you could see that the little cursor changed and then you, Just pull it on over, and there you go. Okay, have to oh. um, you have to insert the image from your computer. I have no idea why I was trying to copy it. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, um, I need to look at my desktop. Recent screenshots. That's how I take a lot of screenshots. And you can see a little image of me. <laughs> All right, anyway, why would you do something like this? Um, this is an attempt to flatten the image, okay? So if you use like Photoshop or any other um, photo software, photo editing software like that, um, flattening the image makes it so that um, you can't move the individual elements around. So now I can't move this around. I can't move the Bitmoji around. I can't move the projector or the table around. I can't move the banners around. None of that can move. Whatever I add moving forward though is now going to be the clickable elements that the kids can pay attention to. So again, going back, whenever you're at the stage before you want to add links, I would recommend that you take a screenshot of your classroom and then make a new slide and put that screenshot into a new slide. The only caveat is that when you do that, um, the quality of the image deteriorates over time over like screenshots. So if you like keep taking a screenshot of a screenshot of a screenshot of a screenshot, it will um, look fuzzier and fuzzier and fuzzier and fuzzier over time. So just FYI. Alrighty, so let's make this clickable. Yes. All right. So um, I would like to insert I like moved way too fast that was that was all in my head just now sorry okay you want to go to insert okay <laughs> and you want to hit text box all right now you're opening up a text box wherever it is that you want to put your link we're good okay that was all in my head just now okay and so um reminders oops Please read, um, please read a chapter from Don Quixote. I don't know. I literally made that up. I made that up on the spot. I'm about to um, Google Don Quixote PDF. And, and grab a PDF somewhere. Um, let's just pretend this link works. Okay, I just need a link just for an example. Um, I hope this is like a good link. Okay. Well, they have the right author. Okay. Um, please read a chapter from Don Quixote. 
Okay, great. So I'm asking them to do something, but to make their lives easier and to make my life easier and to say, hey, I tried to make your life easier, you can insert a link. And how can you do that? You can do that by going to insert. And hold on, I can't see it because I'm like, I'm, my thing is over here. Let me move myself. Let's try it again. Insert. And then go down to link. And then paste your link that you copied from your other page in here. And there you go. You've got it. You now have made this clickable. And so um, when you send this out to students, they will be able to click on it. Um, now let's say you want to put a song in here or something like that. Um, hmm. YouTube, what's a good song? What's a good song? Um, Vivir Mi Vida. Okay, that's pretty benign. That's a good song. It's probably about to play. Turn the volume down. Okay, so I'm gonna insert an image. I'm gonna move myself again. <laughs> All right, transparent um, speaker. I'm gonna take this speaker. Yep, and I'm gonna make it smaller. I'm going to put it up in the corner as if I'm listening to it. Okay, or you can put it over here maybe. So it's like very obvious to them. And do the same thing. Insert, go all the way down, link, paste the link, apply. And now when they click on the speaker, Mark Anthony will pop up. Now, of course, you can take this and like I would change the font. I'm like, you know, I I would play around with it a little bit. Um, so that's basically it. That's like the elements of putting together a Bitmoji um, virtual classroom. I hope that this was helpful to you. I hope that this was um you know, small enough and digestible enough for you to get it in just like, you know, a few minutes. And um, let me know in the comments. And remember, make sure you make your own. I challenge you, make your own in the next seven days. Hashtag it, the cultural classroom, the cultural classroom. And I wish you the best of luck with everything. And you can always message me um, on any of the social media platforms and ask me questions. I am so happy to help. If you get stuck on anything, I'm happy to help you. All right, have a great week. Ciao.